Have a seat. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. <clears throat> so, how you been? It's uh, it's great to be back. We never we never really left, but we certainly weren't here. This is a slightly different energy than the converted storage room eight floors above us. As beautiful as that was, as lovely as that was. I have not been on this stage in front of a live audience for 460 days. I don't know if I even remember how to pander to the most beautiful crowd in the world. Hey, look at that man right there. Look at that man right there. It feels like it feels, it feels a little bit like the first day back at school. That's you right. Know? That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. I got a new haircut, new clothes, and CBS sent me this beautiful Paramount Plus Trapper Keeper. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. It's been... Thank you, Citizen. It's been a long time for you folks, too. That's why we've replaced all of our applause signs with remember how to applaud signs. <laughs> and I am proud to say, I am absolutely proud to say we are the first show back up on Broadway. Suck it, Lion King. That's right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hakuna must suck it. As someone who's been working here in the city for a year, it's wonderful to see New York City coming back to life. Just today, you guys know, you feel it. You feel it everywhere you go. Just today, I saw two Times Square Elmos breeding. <laughs> life finds a way. Of course, I did not do the last 15 months alone. In the dome tonight, you can see the entire Late Show staff right there. Give it up, yes. I also want to give a shout out to the man whose office worked with us for months, right? To get us back in this theater tonight. That's New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. He's not here tonight, but he, he asked me to read this note. <laughs> if you remember me for one thing this year, <laughs> let it be bringing back the Late Show's audience. That's it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's there's the one. There you go. There you go. Now, uh, for those of you watching at home, everyone in the audience tonight is fully vaccinated. But they're immortal. They're immortal. A little bit, a little bit over? A little bit over, maybe? Just a little bit? Just a little bit? Like right this. But be being a member of my audience isn't the only reason to get your shot. It's just the best reason. And I will catch you up on all the latest developments in tonight's installment of the vaccine.
And, and, and they said it couldn't get any longer. <laughs> now, if you haven't been vaccinated yet, what are you waiting for? There are great incentives out there. Tomorrow, Taco Bell is giving vaccinated Californians a free seasoned beef nacho cheese Doritos Locos Taco. It's perfect for anyone who wants to get vaccinated but still doesn't value human life. <laughs> now, we are... <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 is, it a good, is it a good sign that you, you dance for four minutes and uh, can't breathe? <laughs> I'm not the only ones uh, stepping out to see old friends. Over the weekend, President Biden was in the UK for the G7 summit, and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson was stoked. It's wonderful to, to listen to the Biden administration and to, and to Joe Biden. It's fantastic. It's a breath of fresh air. You know, the last guy was pretty bad when a 78-year-old man is described as a breath of fresh air. <laughs> you know, he just... He just... There's something about the president, something extraordinary, something about him that just radiates a bracing cloud of gold bond and fix <laughs> While he was in England, the president also hung out with Queen Elizabeth, seen here enjoying that Oprah interview. <laughs> Biden. Biden. And the... Sure. Why not? That's a seven-month-old reference. It's fine. Biden and the Queen had met before, but that was way back in 1982. That's when she was touring with her synth-pop band, Flock of Regals. <laughs> And Joe Biden had some kind words for Her Majesty. She was very generous, very... Uh, I, I don't think she'd be in solo, but you bet my mother. She reminded me of my mother. Okay, sure. That's... that's nice. But, Joe, you're only 17 years apart. You're... You're more contemporaries, like me and my buddy John Baptiste, right? Hey, yeah, yeah, we're contemporaries in there. Yeah! I love it. I love it. That's, that's so nice. My grandpa used to say that. <laughs> Thanks, John. It was a really big weekend for the Queen. She attended a charity luncheon, and there was cake. I didn't think this was going to work. There were two halves. There is a knife. What? There is a knife. I knew there is. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that is more unusual. That is a lady who knows her brand. Well, seeing as I'm a 200-year-old pair of curtains whose face is on the money and whose family is more inbred than a discount golden retriever, <laughs> I think we're quite past normal at this juncture. Now, who wants a slice of Costco sheet cake? President Biden's trip abroad will end with his much-anticipated showdown on Wednesday with Russian president and cover model for Maritime Murders Monthly. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. This meeting could be awkward, because earlier this year, Biden called Putin a killer. This weekend, Putin was asked about his homicidal tendencies. Mr. President, are you a killer? <laughs> Over my tenure, I've gotten used to attacks from all kinds of angles and from all kinds of areas under all kinds of pretext and reasons and of different caliber and fierceness, and none of it surprises me. So... Uh... That's a yes? Putin... Putin was also... Putin was... Putin was also asked uh, about how Biden compares to the last president. You once described President Trump as a bright person, talented. How would you describe President Biden? Well, even now, I believe that former U.S. President, Mr. Trump, is an extraordinary individual, talented individual. Otherwise, he would not have become U.S. President. He's a colorful individual. Yes, colorful. And scientists are still trying to determine what color that is. <laughs> The closest... <laughs> Honey-glazed Himmler? <laughs> oh! <laughs> really? <laughs> wow! <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Hey, they like it. It is wonderful to be with you. It's wonderful to be back in the Ed Sullivan Theater. I've always said... 
You know this. Y'all know this. I'm not telling any tales out of school here. I have always said. This is gonna go through the roof. This is gonna, this is gonna go through the roof. Okay. Folks, no way. I have always said there is no greater audience in the world than you people. And when I said that, I was wrong. You see, <laughs> for the last 15 months, my only audience was truly the greatest of all time, my wife. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please give a big late show welcome to Evie Colbert. Darling, darling, um, thank you, uh, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Is, is there anything you'd like to say to the people? Okay, audience, he's all yours now. <laughs> and, and don't forget to laugh because he really needs it. It's true, it's true, and folks, we've got a great show for you tonight. Do you, do you want to tell them who we got here? Sure. Our guests are our old friend, John Stewart, and music. <laughs> by our new friend, John Baptiste. <laughs> but when we return, Stephen goes one-on-one -on -one with President Joe Biden. Stick around. Stick around, everybody. Happy McGee!